Thank you for uh, watching our video once again of my life on the street. This is update number four uh, from the streets of Buffalo. And uh, it's been a couple of days since um, you viewed our last video. Uh, yesterday was a tremendous day, um, just a ministry to people as usual in the soup kitchens and on the street. And uh, we had a, a great time at Damon College. I was invited to uh, uh, be a part of a panel of discussing uh, homelessness and hunger in Western New York. And really, to be honest, I felt unqualified to be there. There was uh, uh, doctors and professors on the panel, but um, I think uh, we made a, a good impact on the students just telling stories uh, of people that I've met on the street and what homelessness is all about. And, and, you know, even as you're watching this, you know, you might have some stereotypes of homelessness. And many of the students didn't know that there's hom homeless guys are, are fully employed, uh, part-time employed. Uh, they've, uh, uh, they're not, not everybody's an addict uh, or an alcoholic. And there's lots of different things that uh, people don't realize about the homeless. And so it was a, it was a, great, a great time at Damon College. Today, uh, we started off the day with a, a great interview with the Buffalo News, the only major newspaper in Buffalo. It's going to be in tomorrow's uh, paper. And Channel 7 was just here. I, I um, just walked I don't, I don't know, it took me over an hour to get here from downtown, but we're on the upper west side of Buffalo right now, right near my neighborhood, right next to um, a charter school that's going to be a Boxes of Love site that has over 85% of the students are Burmese refugee kids. And uh, we're here in this neighborhood uh, once a month uh, giving out groceries.